We have an interesting question. It's not interesting at face value, but it's interesting the more you look at it. The work says everything with which we are in contact is false personality, and essence, who we really are, is buried deep within. How long does it take to reach essence and become the person we are meant to be? I would not encourage a question like this normally for a number of reasons. One is because we're not supposed to be working for results. And that's obvious. Well, how long does it take? It takes as long as it takes. How long does it take? It's not like the gestation of a chicken egg or a human fetus or a cow or a, an elephant. It's not something that can be measured like that because it is not a mechanical process. And all, those, all of those other things that, we, that I've just mentioned are all mechanical processes. All of those things are already set up. They're already wound up by the, in the ray of creation, and they unfold in an orderly process according to laws and principles. Whereas the possibility, and that's all that it is, the questioner says, how long does it take to reach essence and become the person we're meant to be? You are the person you're meant to be. <laughs> this is it. You are the person you're meant to be. There's nothing meant to be. You have a possibility of being something else. You have a possibility of escaping from the mechanical laws of the universe and what this, what the ray, what the great ray of creation has in store for you. Your purpose is the same purpose as a cow, the same purpose as a sheep, the same purpose as bacteria, the same purpose as any living organism to provide energy for the next step, to provide food for the next step. That's it. That's your purpose. That's the purpose of everything. Everything on this planet is food for something else. You eat, something eats you. That's what you're meant to be. Now, the possibility of evolution, the possibility of escaping that mechanical process is an entirely different thing. That's going against the entire flow of the universe, our known universe, or our ray of creation. So in scale, I'm going to call our universe our ray of creation. The absolute world 3, world 6, world 12, world 24, world 48, where we are, and world 96, which is the last point in our ray of creation. We have the possibility of, instead of going to 96, turning around consciously and moving toward, working toward world 12. That's all theory. So how long it takes, we can't really answer that. We can. What we can say is the amount of effort that you put forth will determine what kind of progress you make. The quality of the effort that you put forth there are people who can put all kinds of wrong effort into something and get nowhere. In fact, go backwards. But if you're willing to put right effort in with right knowledge at the right time in the right way, then you can make progress. Essence, who we really are, essence is just, it's, it's not a mystery. It's the essential part of you. The only thing that's a mystery to us is where it is, what it is, only because we have our sense of self in something else that isn't real. So the strange thing about this whole thing is, is that reality to us is a mystery, but the mystery of illusion to us is reality. So we take what isn't and we make it real, and we take what is and we make it unreal. And that is our condition. That's the state in which we find ourselves, if indeed we find ourselves. Most people never do. Most people are born they live and they die, and they rarely ever have a moment of wakefulness, a, mo a moment out of deep waking sleep. They never have that. If they do, they quickly submerge, go back to sleep, and that's the end of that. This is a strange experiment, this whole thing that we're, this whole process that we're involved in is a strange experiment. It, there's no guarantee that we'll make it. The question is, really, in my opinion, is can you increase the quality of your life now? Can you wake up a little bit more now? Can you realize more of who you are and what you are now? Can you begin to control some of your negative emotions? 
Can you begin to stop constantly? Because this constant flow of negativity, can you begin to stop that, hinder that in some way? And save that energy and redirect that energy into something more useful. Those are the kinds of questions that we really need to be asking ourselves. Now, they aren't the kinds of questions we're asking ourselves, but that just shows you how far we are from knowing anything about what this work is really about. As long as we can ask questions like, well, how long does it take to reach essence? We're missing the mark. We're missing the point. The point is, look, don't worry about that. How long is it going to take you to stop worrying about the stuff that you can't do anything about and to start doing something about the stuff that you can do something about? It's going to take a while, isn't it? Mm -hmm.